Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe. Um, anyway guys, so, I, I uploaded this earlier, but left out a few things, so I figured I'd delete it and make it a, a new one. It was my fault because I didn't know you were going to load it, and there were some things you had left out. But what I wanted to do was have you have you show it once it's completed. So. Yes, okay. So anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll leave off from... Okay, so, <laughs> yes. You deleted it? I deleted it, okay, yes. Good. Okay, so, my dad ordered this about a week ago. Um, at our new media shelf, new storage shelf, or what are you, media oh. storage shelf. I think that's what they call them, media storage shelf. I think that's what mine's called, too. But, um, anyway, guys, so I'm so yeah, happy. Yeah, it is. It is a Yeah, shelf. but he picked out the one that I love, so it's so cool. But, um... Do you want to explain it or do you want me to talk about it? Oh, I'll you explain, did. So, I'll explain it. Okay, so you can see the shelf that's missing over here at the bottom. Wait a minute. Let's, let's Let me get closer so they can see. It. Okay, so this is the what, company left out, like, they didn't drill enough holes at the bottom, which I don't understand why. So, Well, let's do, um, a, let's do a comparison yeah. right here. So that's this what is, it used to look like. That's what we had before. Right. So you didn't have enough room to stack them up like those up there because there wasn't enough space. Is no, actually, here's what happened. I didn't like the way it looked. I didn't like the I didn't like the fact that these, like I explained right, earlier exactly. in the video, but it's deleted, so it doesn't matter. So basically, these are on their on their side, yep. right? Mm -hmm. They're flat. So stacking them up like this, I think you could probably get what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'd say you probably get about twelve or thirteen, right. By going that way. So you figure you got twelve or thirteen on both sides. Because mm -hmm. remember, we had one over here right. as well, it's stacked up side by so side. So basically, you have about twenty-six to twenty-four by doing it like that, and then you have all this space in the middle right. that's not being used. So, what I decided to do a couple of days ago, I thought about this. The company, for some reason or another, the holes that are in here, yeah, on this piece, they should have drilled an additional hole. Exactly. Pre-drilled. I they yeah. should have pre-drilled an additional hole, which, by the way, they didn't. So what I decided to do was, I made me like, made me what I call a template. Yep. And I used the very first one as a reference right. for the other two, mm -hmm. and. I was hoping that they would match up, which they did. You could clearly see yeah, by the first two. Mm -hmm. So anyway, what I did, what I made a template, and what I did, I had to measure, and I, it was from from that hole there, right. from that hole mm -hmm. there to the other one was a was an inch and a quarter, right? So yeah. I had to make one for the front, I had to make one for the back, and then I had to make one for the back on the other side, on the opposite side. Right. The one thing that's really key, and if you notice right here on my drill, but let me see, I don't have one. I mean. Where are my pliers at? Did I put my pliers They're up back? there behind you. They're up there behind me. They're on that shelf over there, yeah. I don't have a pen. Okay. I'll tell you the one thing you have to be really, that, that was really, some people probably wouldn't even think about this. If you look at this pen, can yeah, you see I it? I see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see it's it's got a, like a bevel or a notch right. on it. What that is, It'll only allow it to go in if when you pre-drill the hole, right? right? When going you, so when, far. Not pre-drill. Excuse me. When you drill the hole, first yeah. of all, you have to get the right diameter, and I end up going through till, two drill bits, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And what I did was I used just a, a dummy piece of wood. I know. And I drilled two holes using two different drill bits, and I finally got. I think it was the second one or third one. I finally got the right diameter because you don't want to get too big with this. You have to get about the right sides. So I did that. And then secondly, the one thing that's really important, I put a, you notice I, I put a mark it, yep. on the drill bit. And the reason for that is, is when you're drilling through here, you don't want to go if you're not side. paying attention, you'll drill through the other side. And a lot of people right. could very easily do that. So basically it's a depth. Right. Meaning it'll only, by doing that, I was actually, that's actually a little too far. Yeah. So I drilled it really slowly. Right. And so that's, uh, yeah, that's very important when you do that. So luckily I didn't go through any of them of them so if you're doing this that's a good idea to always measure yeah. that and be careful with that so anyway the, the thing is they all lined it up they're perfectly level which is pretty cool i got lucky with that and uh, you can see that this right here right, looks see. just like it came yeah, from the it factory did. It so, awesome. so and then when you put the shelf in there it matches is up perfect definitely matches up with the other one yep the other two so, so. and you see how much more space we have right there. i like the way it looks too because it all blends in together so um yeah i'm gonna get up and show you what it looks like yeah and like i was mentioning this is uh this is a cherry 
uh, and what they call the MTD wood. Right. And the MTD is uh, is actually uh, a synthetic wood. Yeah. Most everybody so, knows that. Where that one over there is, and I mentioned this before too, is a pine. Um, and that's a solid pine. Yeah. And this is our new one. That so actually, the, love it. The two actually kind of kind of blend. Yeah. Together. But I actually love that one as well. So. And like we said, and like we said before too, is the the nice thing about this is. You fact you factor we have that that piece over there that was basically full on both sides. Right, exactly. And then we have that piece over there. Over that was here, full. yeah. So by basically we were able to empty both of them right. and put all our physical media in one and place. Here. And I love which it. It's nice and organized. And it's also like I said in the other video, even though you deleted it, was I, I was the one other thing you have to be concerned with is the backing that I mentioned. And something I got wrong was when you're doing a tack, because remember. You have a back piece right here, cardboard, yep. and then you have one for each section. Right. So as you're putting this thing, if you're on the back side, if you're putting the cardboard on, like I showed earlier, you only have this is a probably right, it's about, real a, thin. about a half an inch. No, I'm talking about the width. Right. But half an inch. And when you're putting the backing on, you only have so much room on each exactly. side. So as you're putting as you're putting the nail in, you have to be sure, and I made this mistake yeah. because I mentioned it, like I said earlier as well that you don't go straight because you take a pretty good chance of maybe coming out the side. Yeah. And of course, right when you do that, you damage it. And I did have one. I know, just that one. Did that yeah. one, luckily. So after that, what I did, when I when you get to a center point, if you're ever tacking in the back on one of these, what you want to do is when you're putting a nail in, angle it. It's called right. a tow. You want to tow it towards the inside, right. not the outside. And yeah. by do, because they're short nails, they're called right. tack nails. And they're short, but still, like I said, if you're off a little bit here on the edge, you clearly can go through. Yeah. So that was a concern. So we did, we had one. Uh, I used a wood glue and I also used a marker. So you yep. can't even tell it, but uh, that was probably the only issue we had right. with it. The only other thing is the, um, we mentioned this as well, securing it to the wall. Uh, it says if it's, uh, I was reading the, um, the, uh, the specs and all the other information and some of the do's and don'ts, but a lot of people had said that by, of course, the ones that left a review after purchasing it that you don't want to put it on the carpet without securing it to the wall. Yeah. Of course, you know, you always go into a two by four. Well, this one here, clearly, it leans back. And if right. you notice up here in the front, it has a wide it base. It does, yeah. And the base is wider in the front than it is the to back. And the it, reason yeah. is so it doesn't allow it to right. tip over. So, but, um, I mean, that's 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 an individual choice. I can't I can't tell somebody not to do it. You know, recommend not yeah. to do it. That's just individual choice. But for me, it's secure enough because of the way it tilts. Because it actually does tilt back somewhat. That I don't think I'll ever have to worry about. Well, these aren't in all our movies because we have some in our new entertainment center. We got like the ones from like UK, Germany, and stuff like that. So books are over here. Yeah. This is just for like our 4Ks, the box sets, standard Amores, Twilight Time, and just like little. Triple features and stuff like that, and so well, those box sets up there. So. Right, and well, the the when you're reading the specs, it shows 754 Blu-ray. Right. Now I don't know. I think I counted it. Like I said earlier, I think we counted 554. I think that was with all of them. Mm -hmm. So now by doing this, because of the way we had them stacked before, like this, right, you one get on each side exactly. We had a hundred and fourteen. Right. Right. And so by doing it like this, going vertical, which each one of those are 35, mm -hmm. we had we have a total of from there, the three shelves would equal 35 times, that's actually 35 times three, not 35 times four. Uh, I got that wrong. <laughs> I got that wrong. So anyway, but the point is you got 35, 35, yeah. and 35, right? Right. So which is what, 105 well, or whatever. Yep. So it does allow us to give us a little more yep. room than it did before. And plus, we have a little bit of additional room right down to here. stack them to the bottom few. And one more to. drawback is the ones that are down low. Of course, you know you have to get on the floor to actually get to some of those. So I guess the, if you're putting this thing together and you're putting movies in it, maybe yeah. movies you don't watch it often or something right. you don't want to watch it often. But I'm just glad I can just like if everyone wants to come here and watch a movie, all I do is grab it off the shelf and watch it. And it's so cool. So yeah, and, and the thing is, it really it really cleans everything yep. up. It is very neat looking. Because when you first walk into the living room, this is all you see, which I love. So and I'm so glad he picked out the one that I chose. I just love this one so much. And I like how it, it blends in with the new entertainment center. So, so that's pretty if cool. You want so you can pan back a little bit and do I am I, yeah I can see it. We got the last shelf in and yes, it I love it fun, so much. So. And it's got his phantasm set up there, the Halloween set and his new Friday the thirteenth set up there. So um, yeah. Oh yeah, real quick too. Uh, a couple of days ago, 
you know, I've been going nuts. I know, time. exactly. I was trying to yes. find, we had mentioned a couple of videos ago when you were doing my steel books. Well, for some reason, we couldn't, I couldn't find the Harry Potter set. Yep. I couldn't find the uh, the Batman steel book set. And also the other one was the, the Avengers. Avengers steel book set. Yep. I went into the attic thinking it was in the attic. You was going to have some bins up there. But anyway, long story short, luckily, you were the one that said it was in one of the bins in the computer well, the, yep, room. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, it was, it in, was there. in there. So, so, the, so next, the next video we make, yep. I should be getting that 300 today. Uh, I got another movie coming. So if we do make a video, what I'll do, we'll add those yeah, to it. But so. I'm so glad he found them. I knew they were somewhere in here. We didn't throw them away. Well, I was so. about to drive me I off know, the wall. But, I, kept, um, I, I, I kept thinking, you know how when you, when I know. you put something up? Yep. And you think, well, okay. But I didn't think I put them in the attic. Right. I just wasn't sure of myself. I second guessed myself, so whatever. But this is very nice. And so if I you love want it. to pan out, you can do yeah, it. Yeah, I can, I can see the whole looks, thing right here. Looks so. good, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks awesome. I love it. So right. anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. So make sure to like this video, comment down below. What do you think of our new setup here? I, I just absolutely love it. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Make sure to subscribe, and I guess I will talk to you later. Bye. That's much